Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. We are at the Timber Frame Extension, and today I have Caragas here, uh, Irfan, and he is going to be doing some gas work for us. So, uh, shout out to Irfan and for his dad for putting us on to him uh, to do this job for us. So, he's going to be extending the existing gas mains. He's going to be using some connections that I've never even heard of before. So, I'd like to document that, and um, he's going to explain the process of what he's going to be doing today. So what is that? So we're just doing a let by tightness. So we just, before we start work on the gas, mm -hmm. you know, the gas pipes and stuff, uh, we're just making sure that there's no leaks or anything inside it. Okay. Um, so it's a procedure that we do before we um, carry out work. Okay, nice. So remember guys, this is where the existing cooker was, where the old kitchen used to be. We have now moved the cooker down to here. It's going to be a range cooker. So we're going to be extending that pipe along the wall. This is going to have tall units mounted at the back here, so the pipe's going to be hidden at the back. He's going to do that, put a stop valve for us as well, and also put another bayonet fitting, uh, which we'll show you guys. So the, the cooker actually has arrived. It's massive. It's 900 mil range cooker. I think this is the uh, extract for it as well. Um, but it has arrived. Um, but it obviously will be installed right at the end. I also want to show you guys the plan which we've also received in the post. So this is the plan of the kitchen. This is where the cooker will be. This is where the existing pipe is. We'll be running it through this wall and fitting it right here. It's a lovely rainy day today, which is good for our patio <laughs> to help wash it out. We're just giving you guys a reminder of what the place is looking like outside, what we did last week. Our patio is looking good. Um, got to get some more sand on this, but um, otherwise it's all done. So we're press fitting today. Um, I mean, the normal people in our trade tend to do a lot of soldering, but um, this has been brought over to domestics. So within the last few years, it's normally used on commercial. Um, there's a lot of pros and cons to it, um, but this is a perfect example of when you can use press when you're doing a new gas run. It's easy to access um, and you just clip onto it. So there's basically an O-ring inside the actual fit in itself um, and then it crimps it and then it basically makes it solid. So obviously oven, when you're doing this, you don't need to use no fire. No fire, no, no, no flux, no nothing. So you, yeah. you don't have that smell going around the house. And it's just a lot more cleaner. Um, like I said, they use it in a lot of commercial industries, um, running new lamps of pipes and stuff. Um, but yeah, okay. over the last couple of years, you would see a lot more domestic engineers using it. Um, I use it on a daily basis. I use it on repairs. I mean, a, another good thing about it is like, 
For example, if you're using on water section um, and there's water in the pipe, you can't solder. That's a good this, point. This, regardless, you could cut the pipe, put your press tool onto it, and, and press it, and you're, you're good to go. Job done. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So makes it makes sense. maybe an hour job into maybe five, ten minutes. Yeah. So but there's are, pros and cons. Are these fittings more expensive? They are. So um, you can have, so if you look on the inside of the actual fitting itself, you see that there's like a, a yellow O-ring inside it. So that is for gas. Um, and then with the water fittings, it's like a black O-ring. But okay. you can get certain fittings that are suitable for both, um, but they are a lot more expensive okay. um, than your normal sort of thing, packing and stuff. So they're sort of like them push fits, you can still move the, the thing then, as well? Sorry? Oh no, you haven't done that? No, 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 no that. Oh, okay, yeah, but when you crimp it, it can't no, move? Yeah, you can't, it won't move. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was, that was a good move. Job's done. Um, if you need any gas work done in South London, give us a shout. Um, we're on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and we've got websites. Check our Google reviews. Um, Cara Gas. Peace.